forgot what it's like to surf on the weekend here in Santa Cruz. There is so many people out. Yeah, the waves are good. They're really good. They look super fun. But oh my gosh, the crowd is ridiculous. The lineup is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys. There are some things when the lineup is crowded uh, that you can do to help out your surf set. <laughs> That's a problem. How we fix this problem? We're going surfing. This van is also a disaster. Daily vlogs get out of hand. So does life a little bit. Today is the day where I'm cleaning up, organizing some things because honestly, I haven't had time. So today, like, Everything was telling me, don't surf. It's crowded. <laughs> so I walked around and I waited, I watched. I wanted to see where the waves are breaking. Um, I wanted to see where everybody was sitting. I wanted to see who was out there. I decided that uh, it was reasonable to go out and surf. And maybe I get a couple waves, not as much as I'd like, but it's manageable. So I think that would be tip number one, is check out the lineup. So tip number two, Picking the right board for a crowded situation. Waves are shoreboardable, they're rippable, they're big, they're fast. Those are the best waves. Am I gonna sit at the peak where everybody's sitting and wait for one set wave this whole session? Absolutely not. I'm gonna sit on the inside and I'm gonna take off on as many two foot poopy waves as I can with the hopes of maybe like three or four of them being really good. The last and final tip, and I don't like this one. I don't even like giving it. Take this with a grain of salt. It's being incognito out in the lineup. And I'm not following that tip because I gotta bring this sucker out there, which is also an issue. And I'm gonna make a full video on this someday. A lot of times I wear a hood, so I don't jump off the point. I'll paddle up underneath everybody. I'll be quiet out there, and I will pretend like I'm a seal. It's like camouflage and it works. It really works. Like I said, take that with a grain of salt because like I hate that surf culture has these like rules. You can't have colorful wetsuits. You can't have colorful boards. You can't like bring a GoPro. Like it's like all this like nonsense. It's just, it just, it's sucky. It's really sucky. It's one of the worst things about surf culture. But um, yeah, now that I have a yellow board, an orange GoPro floaty and bright blonde hair, I stick out like a sore thumb, but I've been here for years. People, some people know me here and I get a lot of waves. The last thing I want to say, if it's a crowded lineup, but just be respectful. Be respectful to everybody. Be respectful to the locals. Be respectful to the non-locals. You know, it, it, when it's your turn, take the wave. But when it's not, and you know you're back paddling or you're doing something you shouldn't be, don't do it, you know? Like everybody's eggy, everybody wants waves out there in a crowded surf. Be calm, don't lose your head, and you'll have a fun surf session. So let's go surfing. Sisters and brother and parents and I'm over the moon that we're gonna be parents. Haha, -ha. I'm so unmistakably happy at last. Why did I try so hard before I'm falling my eye?
in a hurry to I've been saving my PTO for you, baby, I'm ready to That was amazing. I love surfing. I could surf forever. Seriously. It is so, so much fun. That was my first, like, real feeling surf session of January. Like, catching a bunch of waves at Steamer Lane. Just having fun. Like, good weather. <laughs> the water wasn't freezing cold. Like, whew, that felt proper. It's been a while since like i've had a surf session like that it's either been like stormy waves novelty waves like big waves like everything except for just like my normal surf session and i did exactly what i said i was gonna do i sat on the inside of literally everyone there was a couple local pros out there that were absolutely killing it let them have their waves and i got mine i got a ton i actually caught probably the most out there and it's like, yeah, the waves aren't that big. They're like two foot, three foot inside peelers. But man, on the Panda Astro Zombie, like, unbelievable. Now that's done, it's time to go to the gym, cold plunge, and clean up the house before Josefina gets home. <laughs> cold plunge time that workout was really good it felt good my body feels really good um man it's just like saturday i feel like i've had a complete this reset you know going through like crazy week working out every day surfing snowboarding biking every single day getting a vlog out cold plunging working a full-time job it's just been like so crazy and then today was like the first day where it was just like it's so calm like I got that surf session in which was so sick like so 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 sick and you know when you get those surf sessions in and why I literally love surfing so much is like that's a complete wipe of everything like that one surf session has completely changed my whole mood my attitude my thinking like every single aspect of my life has improved since that surf session and it just felt so amazing. So this is day 17, day 17 of getting out these daily vlogs and it's becoming clockwork, uh, definitely feeling better. You know, I think there's that 21 day, uh, 21 day mark for trying to get a routine down. So I'm approaching 21 days. This weekend has been like a major, just like a recovery period, even though I'm still working, still grinding. I just needed that sleep. I needed that food. That's my biggest thing is like eating enough food. I'm trying to eat like my dinner till failure, which is basically eating until like I actually feel like I'm throwing up. So even though that kind of like affects your sleep, I there's just, I put on zero pounds. I put on zero pounds. I mean, I feel I definitely have gotten like more muscular and denser, but zero pounds and I weigh 174. The heaviest I've ever been, I was 20 years old playing college baseball and I was 196 pounds. That's insane to me. That is 20 pounds heavier than I like am right now. So I need to be like, I want to gain like at least, you know, from 174, I want at least six pounds by the end of 90 days. No need to gain 20. Maybe I add milk. Fair life, I, I you remember I used to drink a shit ton of milk back in the day, but like I, milk's kind of gross to me now. So let's get this cold plunge done. It's still daylight, and I gotta clean the house. This thing is so dirty. I haven't put the cover. I haven't put the cover on it. That's my fault. Just you know, like add a little bit of extra, extra suffering to the cold plunge. Just suffering in dirty water with leaves and bugs i'm sure like it's the navy seals do i'm sure they don't have it that easy they don't get clean water they don't do whatever so <sighs> nice and cold <sighs> mm. my pockets. Okay, okay. 
<clears throat> Alright guys, I hope you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, because new vlogs dropping every day at 8am, cold plunge is freezing, and the waves are still good tomorrow, thank you California, probably gonna go surf again, so until next time, day 17, done. <clears throat>